people, welcome to another edition of that finger tapping frenzy that we all know and love. This WWE Supercard with me, Big Jim, here at Bad Lad Dad HQ. A couple of things to tackle today. Firstly, a bit different. I'm going to show you how I ended Ring Dommy Dim Dom uh, yesterday evening. It was I say yesterday evening? It was the late hours or well, early hours of Monday morning here in the UK. It finishes at 2 a.m. Uh, Monday morning. Um, so. It's a bit of a late one if you leave things to the last minute, as I'm in the habit of doing, due to all the other things I have to do with my life. So um, I'm going to show you that, but the reason I'm going to show you that is because I did the thing that I keep going on about, where when you get down to the final shard and you're about to get that event card, just break out, go into wild mode. If you've not had a pull for a while, this is. And more often than not, you get your pull, and that's exactly what happened. I got a SummerSlam 18 pull by going out into wild mode and then going back in and finishing Ring Dom. But you'll see all that. That's all playing in the background while I talk about some other things. The other thing that I wanted to talk about, the main thing was, thank you ever so much to all of you who applied to be a new member of Team Bad Lad Dad. Ninja Boy taking a back seat, stepping away for a bit, not been well as you know recently. I'm still gonna be doing other things. It's not the end of Ninja Boy, believe me. Um, he's got a lot of things he wants to do, particularly FIFA 19. He's got all sorts of ideas he wants to do with FIFA. And of course, WWE 2K19. So there's there's all that stuff to come with Ninja Boy. He's not gone away anywhere. He's just stepping away from Supercar for a bit because, as we all know, that's quite involved. It, it requires a huge commitment of your time and uh, doesn't really give you an awful lot of time to do many other things. And when you're a young lad and you've not been well and you've got lots of homework because you started a new school, you've got to allocate your time accordingly. And FIFA and WWE 2K19 wins on that front right now. But I'm still here. You're still stuck with me on Supercard. And, of course, we need to find somebody to replace uh, Ninja Boy on Team Battle Lad Dad. So, as I was saying, thank you ever so much to all of you who applied. But for the time being, there can be only one. And that one is Simon Popel. Well done to you, Simon. Um, I'm just going to flash up on screen uh, Simon's response to our um, competition that we put up. It's a fairly simple competition, just needed uh, your user details and the reason why you should be a member of Team Bad Lad Dad. And uh, Simon, in my opinion, gave the most entertaining answer. He used a lot of our catchphrases there. So it's worth doing that. You enter competitions, just like use those little tips and tricks. He used a lot of our catchphrases in his answer, which is what caught my eye. So Simon, he's the man with the chance. He's on trial. No one just strolls into the team, he's on trial, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Um, he's certainly got a strong deck uh, that could blast most away. So, so welcome aboard, Simon. Hard luck to the rest of you. Um, obviously, we've been in touch with Simon and uh, he's already signed up. But these things, you know, there just might, might be another opportunity. Who knows down the line? Who knows down the line what's going to happen? I'm talking of not knowing uh, what's going on. There's been all this stuff about WWE and where they're going. The jewel in the crown type thing. A lot of controversy there, isn't there? Um, it's one of those things where WWE just recently seems to be courting a lot of controversy, particularly when it wants to go away from the States. Um, you know, it's trying to promote, got rid of the divas, and it's like it's all female wrestlers, and then go to countries that don't allow women to do anything. <laughs> so you can't have female wrestlers in it, and, and all this latest stuff. I, I do wonder what's going on with WWE at times. Anyway, look, getting back. To what's going on. Uh, as you can see, I've just broken out there. Uh, Ring Dommy Dim Dom. Uh, what was I doing? Why was I breaking out? Well, this is the thing that I keep going on about. If you've not had a pull for a while, and you just need to give give your game a nudge, a bit of an elbow. Just give it some of that, just to get it going again. Uh, what I tend to find um, is, when you're playing Ring Dommy Dim Dom, uh, when it comes up to getting the event card, and you're just um, one shard away, but you've still got some picks in hand, Break out of the game, as I have done here. Got distracted a bit by the uh, login bonus, as you can see. But um, break out of the game. Then go into any of the modes that's available. I chose uh, wild mode just for this demo because uh, it's the quickest. I would have done ordinarily. I'd have probably gone into the um, uh, elimination chamber and uh, just gone in uh, with one of the bigger uh, matches on the uh, player v player modes. But I just did wild mode just because it's nice, quick and easy. And I also knew I'd been spamming some King of the Rings, so I got quite a few picks saved up. So I knew when it came to picking, even if I lost this match, I wasn't particularly bothered about winning or losing it, because I knew I'd got um, quite a few picks saved up. And we could then see what would happen. Um, now, obviously, I didn't know for sure 
that this was going to happen. But you can probably guess from the way I'm talking, it is going to happen. I'm speaking with the confidence of a man who's seen the end of this video. I know how this one works. I know how this all ends up. I'd have got away with it if it hadn't been for those pesky, uh, I can't even say pesky kids. Pesky kids! So as you can see, uh, plenty of picks to be done. We've got 70 odd picks saved up there. That is one thing. I've got a second account that I don't use very often. But I do spam a lot of King of the Rings. And uh, of course you collect all those picks. It lets you collect and collect and collect. And sometimes you've got three or 400 picks to go and collect. So this 50 pick limit doesn't apply if you can spam through a lot of King of the Rings and just leave the pick alone. Right, here we go. Getting close to it. As you can see, it was just keeping me waiting, keeping me on the edge of my seat. As it was about one o'clock in the morning, whenever it was. It must have been one o'clock, because of course the login bonus popped up. And here we go. It's a SummerSlam 18. Could it be a pro? No, it's another single. It's another single. John Cena. Um, it's a good card. It's a great card. But it's another single. So, <laughs> SummerSlam tier has just not been my friend. It has not been my friend. The Chambre de Fusion. Long John Silver and the Pirates there. In the Fusion Chamber, they did their best. I got um, uh, Shemuths as my first SummerSlam 18 Fusion. I then got Shemuths as my second SummerSlam 18 Fusion. So that was good news. So I've worked on him uh, through this tournament, actually, and he's now pro So he's done. So anyway, look, that's it. I've done it. I've got my pick. And it's just a question if you go back into uh, the game again, pick up where you left off. Just one more match. Obviously, I've already got the picks there waiting, but you've got to play through a match. Play the one more match, and then you can collect the uh, collect the event card. Now, it doesn't happen every single time, um, particularly if you've had a pull recently, but it, it does tend to work if you've not had a pull for a while, and you're thinking, oh, come on, game, you owe me one. You owe me something. That's a good time to give it a go, because for me, invariably, it works. And I'm glad that for once, firstly, I remember to record it, and secondly... It worked. So, there we have it. I got my Kofi Kingston card. I wasn't even sure it was going to happen because it got to uh, mid-Sunday afternoon. And since the video that I put up on Friday, um, I'd not had a chance to play. And it looked like it was going to be uh, one I was going to have to miss out on. But obviously, I got there in the end. But where are we going to go from, uh, from here? Are you going to take a back seat for a few weeks? Are you thinking season five's nearly upon us? If we're going to get three new tiers, what's the point in even doing any more SummerSlam 18? Are you just going to carry on chiselling away because you enjoy the game? See the uh, Team Ring Dommy Dim Dom card this evening is Shinsuke Nakamura, which would actually be a pro for me. So that's something I, I hope I hope Team ba uh, Bad Lad Dad are going to want to go for it and just give it a go. Ring Dom's always a lot easier than Row to Boredom. Um, so hopefully we'll get that one in, uh, but I must admit, particularly if we had like a last man standing coming up at the weekend, that requires a bit of investment, both in time and in uh, getting some credits. That may be one to miss. That may be one to miss, I don't know. What are you going to do? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you ever so much, as I say, for watching, and for all of you who did enter uh, the competition. Sorry we couldn't get all of you in, but you know how it is. There's only 10 spots, and I feel one of them. It's a big, a big slot to fill, obviously. Um, so thanks ever so much for watching. You know what to do if you like the video. Bung a few likes down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed before. It's all the social media. There's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's Facebook. Until I see you next time, you stay cool.